Hey guys, Mike in the Woods here. Got this sweet new shirt made by my fiance. I haven't given you any cool 3D printed tools in a while, uh, except for parts for my pack frame saw. So I figured it was time to design something new and useful. And this is what I came up with, a 3D printed seven in one credit card sized multi-tool. But before we get into the meat of it, subscribe if you're new here, hit like if you find this interesting and leave any questions down below. Let's get into the video. Man, I actually really love coming up with useful gear for like EDC and backcountry camping use. I should do a challenge in the near future where I actually replace as much of my backcountry gear with 3D printed versions as I possibly can. Uh, anyways, I started this little project with two main design goals. The first was to create a compact EDC multi-tool with as many functional tools in it as I could. And the second was that all of the tools had to function even if the entire thing is printed in basic PLA plastic. None of the 3D printed multi-tool designs I saw online really seemed to have as many tools built in. So I wanted to create one that had as much functionality as possible for everyone. And this credit card sized seven in one multi-tool is what I came up with. Here's the tool list. It's got a hex nut wrench in 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, six millimeter, and three millimeter sizes. It's got a six millimeter screwdriver bit holder. It's got a funnel, it's got a scraper, it's got a bottle opener, it's got a whistle, and it has a metric ruler. So let's break that down. The hex nut wrench is pretty self-explanatory. I picked the most common metric nut sizes to implement. I could have staged them together instead of having them separate, but I chose to keep them separate for improved structural integrity. With the screwdriver bit holder, I opted against having a built-in dedicated screwdriver of any kind, because if it's made of plastic, a thin part like a screwdriver head won't hold up to the torsion involved with the screwing motion. So instead, I opted to create just a little part to put in any standard six millimeter screwdriver bit and I will note that where it is in this prototype the corner isn't that great of a spot so in my version 1.1 I revised it and moved it to the side where the bottle opener is I added the funnel for trying to coerce liquids from one source to another I actually recently had to top up my brake fluid oh man that was a whole adventure that I don't want to get into here and this tool would have come in handy when I was doing that because when I did it I actually wound up getting brake fluid all over the outside of my brake fluid reservoir the scraper is pretty self-explanatory I live in Canada and the winters here can lead to some pretty nasty buildup on your windshield. Now, most people have a dedicated ice scraper in their car, but this to me is all I really need. So I actually plan on keeping one of these tools in my budding get home bag for my car and very soon my Cybertruck. The bottle opener is a classic multi-tool staple for beer or pop, and I don't actually have a bottle opener elsewhere that I carry. So now I actually have one in my EDC. That's pretty good, actually. I put in a whistle because it's always a great emergency safety tool to have, and the one in this one is surprisingly loud. I rarely see any 3D printed multi-tool designs that actually incorporate a whistle, and I think it's actually one of the most important tools on this particular multi-tool design. The current placement is a bit janky because it's in the middle of the long side, but hey, it works. The last tool on this list is the metric ruler along the other side. I'm Canadian, so of course it's in metric. Each tick is 0.5 centimeters apart, and each tick width is exactly one millimeter. I mean, it doesn't beat a proper measuring tape, but it's a good substitute in a pinch. And the ridges also make for a good grip if you happen to be using the scraper. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the initial design. For a 3D printable multi-tool, it's pretty functional and utilitarian. Like I said, I'm keeping one in my get home bag that I'm working on for my car and soon my Cybertruck. And yes, there'll be a video on that when that comes down the pipeline. My use of space in the design isn't that efficient and I could definitely compact it a lot or fit more tools in if I played around with the placement of things a bit. There were a couple of other tools that I was considering integrating, but wound up cutting out of the final design, the biggest of which was a spork, which I would have put in one of the corners, but ultimately I figured the shape of the card would make it too awkward to use and eat with. I could have made like a hinge design or something, but I really don't like adding joints in my designs, it makes it much easier to break. So overall, obviously lots of room for improvement, but I did accomplish what I set out to do, an actually useful 3D printable multi-tool, and hopefully you guys find it useful too. I'll link my 3D print shop in the description if you want to buy one. Use the promo code SHAMELESSPLUG to get 20% off because you guys are awesome. And I'll also link the 3D model file if you want to buy just the model and print them yourself. Thanks for watching guys. If you're new here, I take a look at how fun futuristic technology can intersect with traditional outdoors experiences. So check out my other videos and consider subscribing if that's your thing. Hit the like button if you want 
want to help out this channel in a free way and leave any questions or improvement suggestions in the comments down below. Catch you next video.